I love Disney. Oh yes, I love Disney. You could even say I'm a Disney addict. But not everything Disney is created equal, and that includes Disney parks. For instance, today, let's point out the three things at Disney World that I just did not like when compared to Disneyland, noting that I do have a personal bias and preference for Disneyland, but I did my best to be objective. The first three things that I think you're going to want to know about when going to Disney World versus your regular Disneyland. The Disney World property is huge absolutely ginormous, especially compared to Disneyland and its humble footprint. And because of this, there is a lot of traveling, a lot of movement, a lot of necessary planning and transportation to get from one location to another, from the resort to your park, from one park to another park, from that park to Disney Springs, and from Disney Springs back to either a park or your resort. You definitely need to know what you're doing. It's not just you show up and you walk in or your hotel is right across the street like at Disneyland and you don't need to worry about transportation other than your own two feet. Though this can definitely be a negative, with enough planning, research, and foresight, it doesn't have to be too costly as far as time or money, but just know you're going to need to plan ahead and you're going to need to know what you're doing or you're gonna lose a lot of vacation time. Number two. Oh yes, weather. Florida weather. This may seem like an obvious one to many, many people, but if like me, you are currently a Disneyland refugee, yes, that's what I've chosen to call myself, you are going to be shocked by the weather in Florida. In Disneyland in Anaheim, yes, we are used to it being hot and getting sweaty. Oh boy. Absolutely. And with masks and all of that, that just adds to it. But in Florida, at Disney World, not only will you be hot, you will be experiencing humidity. Crazy humidity sometimes. Especially if you happen to go in the summer. Oh my goodness, you are my hero if you can manage that. But even any other time of the year that you go to Florida, you will be dealing with the vicissitudes of their crazy notorious weather. Count on afternoon thunderstorms. You will be sweating and hot and it's sunny and bright one minute. And then even while you're still sweaty and hot and it's sunny and bright, all of a sudden the most obnoxious downpour, it will just show up right out of the blue. And so you'll get your umbrella ready or you'll put on your poncho, which you absolutely must bring. I don't care what time of the year you go, bring that poncho. You will just have gotten that thing over you, over your ears, over your backpack, and then the rain will stop. Just be prepared, just expect it and be ready for it. And you should still be able to have a good and fun time, unless of course you go in the middle of summer. I wish you the very best. Number three might seem kind of weird, but if you are like me, a Disney addict and a Disneyland refugee, this is one I think you should know about. And I think you'll probably agree with me that it's a little annoying. We love, at Disneyland, our penny press machines. They are such a fabulous, inexpensive way, and hey, we are the frugal family, don't forget. A fabulous, inexpensive way to get a fun souvenir, a quick little Disney magic experience, and it only costs pocket change, literally. Two quarters and a penny. Okay, sometimes a little bit more. I'm looking at you, Star Wars, but still, a great souvenir at a great value. But then you go to Disney World and it is a whole different situation. What is this, these credit card machines for getting pressed pennies and pressed pennies costing a dollar or eight for five? I don't understand this. <laughs> yes, it's still cheaper than some of the other souvenirs. Okay, it's absolutely cheaper than other Disneyland or Disney World souvenirs, but this is not what we are used to at Disneyland. Oh, I hope this is not something coming to Disneyland whenever it finally reopens. Let's cross our little magic fingers. But this is mostly what we saw in all of the Disney World parks. And it was, well, disheartening to say the least. 
we did find a few, just a few of the actual coin slot penny press machines, but they are scattered. They are few and far between. And then there were several we found that were out of order. It was frustrating as we are definitely into press penny collections and that's just one of our big things and I know that a lot of my fellow Disneyland refugees are really passionate about that so just be prepared go ahead and bring your coins bring your quarters bring your pennies just know there's not going to be nearly as many of the machines that will take those a lot of them they're gonna charge you a dollar and they're gonna want either dollar bills or credit cards. All right, friends, those were my first three differences when comparing Disney World to my beloved Disneyland. We still had an absolutely amazing time at Disney World, and I'm sure you will too, especially as we wait and wait and wait for Disneyland to fully open again. I'm going to throw in one bonus thing, and <laughs> mock me if you will, but there are some things, especially in the year 2020, that really matter. Is it just me or is the toilet paper, <laughs> can I even say this, is the toilet paper at Disney World far less comfortable than the toilet paper at Disneyland? Oh, I don't know, but had to throw that one in there. Thank you so much for watching. Have a magical day and we'll see you all very soon.